Naval Medical Center at Camp Lejeune has partnered with Onslow County Emergency Services for a one-of-a-kind project. It's the first in the country and has been active since December. WNCT's Camila Barco digs deeper into how this pilot program benefits both parties. In the moment where every second counts, emergency personnel can be faced with the unexpected. But for the past few months, our nation's heroes have been lending a helping hand at the most critical times. Where things are stored at throughout the ambulance, there's a system to all of it. So just little things like that uh, that you learn along the way, it really helps for a smoother shift and transition. Navy Corpsman Ben Crafton has taken part in the Navy EMS ride along. So anything that you're going to need in this part of the body is going to be up towards the front of the ambulance. A program that teaches corpsmen how to respond to emergency calls and properly transport a patient. As opposed to being on the other end when we just receive them at the emergency department. It's 12 hour shifts accompanied by emergency crews to teach them the ropes of their job. And give them more real world experiences of, you know, how to handle stressful situations and how to prioritize and manage. The opportunity helps EMS make their responses better and provides an extra set of hands on scene. They definitely bring, you know, more knowledge and ideas to the table of, hey, why don't we try this? Or, you know, hey, how does this work? Corpsmen can take their experience to the battlefield. I can always apply that to the Marines and to the, to the sailors at the Naval Hospital. The benefits extend far beyond the duties. It's the appreciation both teams have for each other. Appreciate the job that they do. It's a very stressful high fast paced job. It gives me more respect for them to see them working, you know, in the field. In Jacksonville, Camila Barco, Nine on Your Side.